Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Oyer. IUDs, or intrauterine devices, are very effective birth control. There are two kinds of IUDs available in the United States. In the rest of the world, IUDs are used by a much higher percent of women than they are here. And the reason for that is back in the 1970s, we had a bad IUD, and people have a long memory of that. There are misconceptions about today's IUDs. Refer back to that. I'd like you to know that today's IUDs are incredibly safe and the most effective birth control we have. The women who have them are thrilled with them. One of the huge advantages to IUDs is they work for many years at a time. So once they go in, you never have to think about them again until you want them removed because it's time to have a child or their years of effectiveness are up. The two kinds of IUDs we have in the United States are somewhat different from one another. The first is called the Mirena. The Mirena is a hormonal IUD. The FDA has approved it for five years, but our studies are very good to say it's effective for seven years. It's over 99% effective during that time. When I say it's hormonal, that means there's a small reservoir of progestin, which is a female hormone in it, that gets released continuously over its years of use. The vast majority of that hormone stays right in the uterus, and a very small amount will get into the woman's bloodstream. The huge advantage to having that much progestin in a woman's uterus is it significantly decreases how much bleeding and cramping she has with her periods for the life of the IUD. What we tell women is you can expect some irregular bleeding for the first three to six months, which usually means a little bleeding between periods. Most women continue to get their periods over the life of the Mirena, but for most women those periods are much lighter and much less crampy than they normally would be. In theory, the Mirena is good for five to seven years. If in three years you decide you want a child, we are happy to pull the Mirena. Or if you decide you don't like it and want to change to another method of birth control, we're happy to pull that at any point as well. In general, I ask that you try to give it six months. Most women are used to it and happy with it long before that six month period. But on occasion, a woman's a little crampier and has a little heavier bleeding through that time. By the end of six months, you'll really know how the Mirena is going to work for you. The other IUD available in the United States is called the Paragard. It's a mix of copper and plastic. It's been approved by the FDA for 10 years. We know it's good for at least 12, and some more recent studies say it may be good for 16 to 20 years. It also is over 99% effective. It has no hormones, so for women who want to avoid hormones, it's the most effective birth control we have without hormones. The one side effect that's most common with the Paragard is a slight increase in bleeding and cramping with your periods. For some women just at the beginning of the life of the Paragard, but for some women for the entire time they have it. Ibuprofen or other over-the-counter medications like it often help with both the bleeding and the cramping. Again, it's nice if you can give the Paragard six months. Most women know how it's going to work for them long before that time. But again, if at any point you want it removed, we're happy to do that for you. Again, if you choose to have a kid in about five years after it goes in, you're no less likely to get pregnant at this point than you were before the Paragard went in. There are almost no contraindications to IUDs. Almost every woman who wants to use one can. The question is, how do you decide which? There are some women, as I said, who want to avoid hormones, in which case the Paragard is for them. In general, when a woman knows she wants an IUD and can't decide which one she wants, I start with one simple question, which is tell me what your periods are like. If a woman tends to have heavy or crampy periods, then the Mirena is probably a better option for her. If she has pretty light, uncrampy periods and wants to avoid hormones, a Paragard is a good choice for her. We're happy to discuss this with you. Visit our website or come into our office for an appointment. We're happy to help you. Implanon is an implant that goes in your upper arm and remains there for up to three years. It's over 99% effective. The Implanon contains one hormone in the progestin family that is released slowly, continuously during that three year period. To put an Implanon in is a very simple procedure that's done in our office. It's put in essentially like an injection. First we numb the area of your arm where it's going to go in and then we inject it in and it stays in there. It's a four centimeter plastic rod. You'll be able to feel it through your skin once it's in. No one looking at your arm will be able to see it, however. 
To remove it is slightly more complicated than an injection, but really not much more so, and takes usually less than five minutes. Most women who have it are very happy with it and keep it for the full three years, and if you like it enough, at the end of that three years we can take one out and put a new one in the same day. Some women will have irregular bleeding on Implanon. On average, they'll have the same number of days of bleeding as they would have without Implanon in, but that bleeding tends to be a little less predictable. Some people have regular periods, some people just have minimal spotting, some people have no bleeding at all. On very rare occasions, women have heavier bleeding than they're used to, but that almost never happens. As I said at the beginning, Implanon is good for three years. If you'd like it taken out sooner than that in order to have a child or because it doesn't appear to be the right method for you, we will take it out at that point. It's a very good method. Most women are very happy with it.